Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a brand new sourcing video. We are breaking down my top favorite dining tables. We've got everything from round tables to oval tables, square tables, rectangular tables, different finishes, wood, metal, concrete, glass, and everything in between. So if you're looking to refresh that dining room with a brand new dining table, this video is for you. I'll be breaking down this video into a few different subcategories. First, we'll be talking about the size of your room, understanding the measurements of the space so you get that shape just right. Next, we'll be talking about the key measurements to keep in mind. Then we're gonna go through my top favorite list of every single type of dining table. And we'll finish up with my top designer tips to keep in mind. First, let's talk about the size and the shape of your dining table. How do you know what to get? Where do you even begin? The first step is to bust out that tape measure and measure the room. You'll measure the length and the width of the room. If the length and the width of the room are pretty equal, a round table or a square table would look best. If the length of the room is longer than the width of the room, in this case, you would specify either an oval or rectangular table. The key tip to keep in mind is to follow the shape of the room. If the shape is long, you wanna opt for a longer table. If the shape is somewhat square, you wanna opt for a square or round table. Round and oval tables are generally more informal. With a round table, everyone is seated and distributed equally around the table. I love round tables because it allows everyone to join in the conversation. There's no head of the table and there's no speaking across long spans to the other side. An oval table is a little bit more formal than the round table. In this case, you do have a longer side and a shorter side, but with no distinct head of the table, oval tables are still considered rather informal. Square tables are great for squared off rooms. You can have a small square table that seats two people. You can have a square table that seats four people. The great thing about square tables is that visual weight is equally distributed across all four sides. Rectangular tables are going to be the most formal of the bunch. Why is it considered formal? You have two people equally distributed at the head of the chairs. These head of chairs could typically be something that is different than the side chairs or the other chairs that are seated in the middle of the table. What if you have an open plan dining space and no formal room, therefore you don't know how to measure? If you have an open plan layout, look to key architectural features to help dictate the size and the scale of the room. Look for doors, passages, windows, hallways, maybe even drop portions of the ceiling like I have in my mid-century ranch style home to help you dictate the space and the layout. Here are the key measurements to keep in mind when shopping for a brand new dining table. You need 36 inches from the edge of the table to the wall so that you could pull out your dining chair. This 36 inches or three feet is the minimum distance you need. If you have a passage that is behind the dining chair, you will need more space. Passage simply means you need to walk behind the dining chair and the dining table to get to another room or a hallway or a door. You need a minimum of 25 inches per person seated at the dining table. So let's say you want to seat two people on one side of the dining table. 25 plus 25 equals 50 inches. The length of that dining table should be a minimum of 50 inches on that side to seat two people comfortably. In my experience, I actually like to allot 30 inches for each person. What you don't want is for your kids to be fighting with each other when they're too close or your guests to be elbowing each other at a formal dinner party. 25 inches is comfortable, but 30 inches is my golden rule. Another key measurement to keep in mind, and you'll hear this often, is a typical height. The typical height of a dining table is typically 30 inches. That is 30 inches from the top of the dining table to the floor. Now always keep in mind what the apron of the dining table is, the thickness of the dining table, the lip of the dining table. That edge is going to help you determine whether or not you can push an armchair comfortably beneath the dining table. This was a really brief description of what to look out for when you start to determine the dining table in relation to your dining room size. So if you want more descriptive details and a little bit more inspiration, definitely check out my video on common design mistakes for the dining room. Now let's jump right into this list. My team and I have been working overtime to gather my top favorite dining tables. I've divided the dining tables into four separate categories. We are going to be breaking them down and dissecting them by shape. Let's start with the round tables, and these are in no particular order. This first table is by France and Son. It is a Bibiana dining table in smoked honey. 
This is a 60 inch width dining table. For a 60 inch diameter, you can typically seat five people comfortably, or you could try to squeeze another six person in there. I love how glamorous this honey finished dining table looks in a smoky finish. The cone shaped base adds such an artistic touch. It almost looks like an upside down martini glass. It feels glamorous, it feels contemporary, and it's perfect for a smaller space. If you're looking for something a little bit more transitional in a darker hue, I love Target's 44 inch masking dining table in hazelnut. What a great deal for such a substantial piece. It's only $350. It's equal parts functional and elegant, and it's stained in a very on-trend dark walnut for a sophisticated look. This table has ample space to seat up to four people, but it would look equally as great in a small entry of foyer. This next table is from Wayfair and it's 72 inches of solid oak and this is really huge. This is the perfect size to seat eight people comfortably, but if you nix the armchairs and only do side chairs, you can probably squeeze in 10. I love that a large round dining table allows the whole family to chat and eat together. It's crafted from solid hardwood and it actually has an oak veneer top, which accounts for why it's so low in price. I love that the cross table base legs also allows you to put your feet up under the table. This dark oak stain would look beautiful against off-white kitchen cabinets or even off-white walls. This next round table is from World Market. It is a Leilani white marble top and gold tulip dining table. It's just under $650 and it's almost 36 inches in diameter. I love the mid-century feel. I am a sucker for a marble and brass combination. And I love that this table would look equally stunning in a Hollywood Regency inspired space as well as a mid-century design. The size is perfect for a small apartment or studio as it can seat up to four people. This anthropology dining table is so chic. It has a smooth travertine top and cylindrical hardwood legs. I love that it's really simple, it's really refined, and the light engineered hardwood makes your space feel bright and airy. It comfortably seats four to six people. Bonus points for having a sealed clear lacquer top for extra protection. It's so easy to wipe down with a damp cloth. You know we love a beautiful table that is equally as stylish as it is low maintenance. Here's another round table from Anthropology that definitely looks more expensive than it really is. This Quillen Marquetry Dining Table retails for less than $900 and is 48 inches in diameter. The beautiful Marquetry top is in walnut veneer and it features a central star motif. It's trimmed with brass banding on a tapered geometric base. There's a slight variation in natural wood texture on the tabletop as well as the pedestal base. And I think that's what I really love about it. From every single angle, it's gonna catch a different amount of light and this will make it appear different at all times of the day. This next round table is from Urban Outfitters. It's the Maya dining table at 40 inches in diameter. This is another one of those round tables that is really perfect for small studios and apartments. The great thing about round dining tables is that it's so easy for you to walk around it, especially with no sharp corners to bump into. This dining table has a mixed finish with a wood top and a concrete light base. It feels equal parts vintage and modern, so I can see this in a variety of different settings. France & Sons Jakarta Round Dining Table is a little bit more on the upscale side at just over $2,000. At 51 inches in diameter, you can seat about five people comfortably around this dining table. It feels very old world. There's a piece of black tempered glass that rests atop the table, so it makes it so easy to wipe down and clean. I love that the table base has all of these etchings around it, which adds just a slight touch of visual interest. Who says you can't use outdoor furniture inside? I love this Atalanta outdoor dining table from McGee & Co. It's 60 inches in diameter and is priced at $2,300. It's simple, it's modern, it's sculptural, and best of all, it's made out of a neutral concrete color, so it matches pretty much any type of finish you put up against it. I have a love-hate relationship with glass tables, but this next one from Wayfair really caught my eye. If you have a small space and you lack a lot of natural light, I love glass tops because they reflect so much light. Whether you have natural light coming in from a window or synthetic light coming from an overhead light fixture, glass tops bring in so much beauty and reflection in a space. On the flip side, if you have young kids in the family, glass is so fragile and I'm always afraid that you're gonna break it if you set something really heavy on top. So definitely think about yours and your family's personal needs when you specify a specific material for your dining table.
Moving on to oval dining tables. I'm actually in the middle of specifying a brand new table and brand new chairs for my dining room makeover. That is coming up really soon, but I wanted to share with you that I'm switching out from a rectangular dining table to an oval one. I love the idea of rounded edges so no one bumps into anything. And of course, my dining room is longer than it is wide. So an oval dining table really fits the bill. This West Elm solid wood post dining table is just under $1,800 and it is absolutely stunning in person. It's made from solid mango wood with a unique sculptural look. It feels light, it feels airy, and its legs have built-in levelers to adapt to varying floor levels. I love that feature about the West Elm dining table. You really have to see this finish in person to truly appreciate it. The next oval dining table comes from CB2. This one is not cheap, y'all. It is the Astor Black Marble and Aluminum Dining Table that retails for just under $4,000. This is definitely one of those show-stopping, wow factors, statement-making dining tables for your brand new dining space. I love how the S-shaped cast aluminum base is slightly etched. It feels so sexy and so sophisticated. The antique finish on the base gives it such a unique character, and I love marble. I love the veining, I love the color variation, I love that no two tabletops are alike, and I especially love that this dining table is large enough to seat eight people comfortably. Perfect for the consummate host who's always entertaining. This is probably one of the best Aero Saarinen dupes. It is France & Sons Carrera Marble Pedestal Tulip Dining Table. It's 60 by 42 inches and it retails for just under $2,500. This is one of the most recognizable designs of mid-century style and people love that it feels like a single unit. It almost looks like the pedestal base is dripping from the marble tabletop. It's light, it's bright, it's classic, and it's sure to work with a variety of different aesthetics. This next Payton dining table is from France & Son. It's 94 inches in width by 42 inches in depth and it retails at $12.99. It features a stylish and organic sandy acacia solid dining table top and legs. I love that the crescent shaped legs along with this oval tabletop creates a unique and eye-catching silhouette. Acacia wood always feels really warm and homey in a space. Whether you're decorating for a transitional style, modern, or farmhouse, this table is the perfect solution. This next oval or round dining table is the Astrid Mid-Century Round Extendable Table. It's only $300 from Target, and it goes from 40 inches to 52 inches in length. The dark wood finish is chic and sophisticated. It also feels really warm and cozy. The tapered legs are really simple and modern. This is a really great and simple table and acts as a perfect foundation if you're looking to jazz it up with fancier dining chairs. Target is really upping their game this season as I've also found this Astrid mid-century drop leaf dining table that goes from 60 inches all the way up to 72 inches. I love that it has rounded edges and gently sloping four point legs. You're definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck since it's only $330. This is one of those tables that look really great online. It has awesome reviews, but I also wonder, is it one of those pieces that are just filler furniture? Like you'll have it in your rental space or your studio or your apartment, but you might even upgrade once you get to your forever home. Let's jump right into square tables. Square tables are a really great solution if you're short on space. If you're living alone or you have a roommate or you don't host a whole lot, you can get away with a small square table that is pushed up against a wall to free up more space. In this case, you might only need to seat one or two or three people. Here are the top square tables that made our list. This Jaden dining table is just under 36 inches square and it's made of smoked acacia wood. I love that it has a slight chevron pattern on top, so it's not a typical solid wood top. It has really subtle antique brass caps on the feet to finish the look. If you have painted cabinets in your kitchen, I love to add a little mix of wood in there for a variety of texture and dimension. The square pedestal dining table from Pottery Barn is 36 inches as well. It's designed by in-house artisans and actually designed for hospitality needs. 
You can see from the two different pedestal bays that it gets its inspiration from Parisian cafes. The bistro pedestal is not something that I would specify for the home. I actually love the black tulip base with the marble top because it feels just so Parisian chic. Bonus points for a tabletop that is made in scratch resistant white marble. This next square dining table from West Elm is made out of reclaimed teak wood. It's a 60 inch square dining table, which means it could seat two people comfortably on each side for an eight top total. The natural wood finish highlights its really simplistic form. When you're specifying a natural wood finish, you're looking for its inherent grain and pattern. Teak is really stunning in person because it has so much variation in the color and the patterns found in its knotted wood. On the flip side, if you're looking for something a little bit more ashy or a little bit more gray, I love this Eden reclaimed wood and concrete dining table from Pottery Barn. The mix of materials is really what stopped me in my tracks. There's reclaimed pine on the base and the border of the top and a concrete laminate in the center of the table. It feels really cool and rustic at the same time and I can definitely see this in a coastal environment. Let's move on to some of the smaller square counterparts like this Wayfair Jarvis drop leaf solid wood dining table. It's crafted out of solid rubber wood in a barn wood wire brush finish. I know you hear barn and you're automatically thinking modern farmhouse, but I think that's what I love about this piece. If you pair it with the simple, elegant upholstered dining chair, I love that it has vintage appeal. It also features rounded corners and you can expand the tabletop from comfortably accommodating two to four people seated. This last square dining table is from Wayfair and it's the Myers 31.5 inch rubber wood solid wood dining table for just under $330. This dining table is constructed from rubber wood and it's also in a walnut finish. I love this medium walnut color because it feels so mid-century cool to me. It's simple, it's stylish, it's perfect for smaller spaces and the medium stained wood would look equally as stunning on beige linen as it would on a jewel toned velvet. And lastly, we have rectangular dining tables. Ever since I purchased my home, I've only had rectangular dining tables in my space. My space is longer than it is wide, as I previously said, and I host a whole lot. So I love that there's some formality to rectangular dining tables, but of course, now that I have young kids, I'm opting for rounded corners. If you still love that long, formal, rectangular look, Think about how the edges are carved and shaped so that it can accommodate your growing family. First up, we have the Veda rectangular dining table that's 84 inches long from West Elm. West Elm considers this a modern take on the classic farmhouse table. The rich oak finish feels warm, it feels inviting, and it definitely has cozy appeal. Light oak is probably my favorite finish from all of the oaks because it's so easy to mix and match in your home. Especially if you have dark wood floors, think about investing in a light oak table to help your space feel light, bright, and airy. Next, we have this Anton Marble Dining Table that's also from West Elm. It's 72 inches in width by 39 inches in depth and it retails for just over $2,000. It has a beautiful white marble top with rich veining, and I know how some of you feel about marble. But it's so easy to clean and wipe down, especially if you remember to seal it. The mangle wood legs are sustainably sourced, and it's made in a fair trade certified factory, which means that the factory empowers workers who actually made it. This Alpha Pine Solid Wood Dining Table comes from Wayfair. It's a generous 82 inches in length and it's sure to anchor your dining space in a clean line, rugged style. I love that the double pedestal base showcases the horizontal plank paneling and a thick bevel framing. This table would add a very artisan feel to an industrial type space. I love how the slab top and the table legs has a very palette inspired look. It's like an elevated type of DIY project. This table comfortably accommodates up to six guests. This Cali Sculptural Oak Dining Table comes from Anthropology. It's 84 inches in width by 40 inches in depth and it retails at just under $1,700. It's crafted from American oak wood and I love how you can see the natural grain in this minimalist design. For a table that could be dark and foreboding, I love how it feels modern, light, and breezy. 
This next table also comes from Anthropology. It is a Margate Reclaimed Wood Dining Table. If you notice all the rectangular dining tables I've picked, they either have two pedestal bases or one solid base in the middle. The reason I choose these type of pedestal table bases is so that everyone can seat comfortably around the table. You know how sometimes when you have those crisscross table legs and all of a sudden the person on one edge or one side constantly bumps up to it? I hate that. So next time you're considering which type of table base to go for, look for something with really clean lines that no one can bump into. This next rectangular dining table is actually a Haskell breakfast bar. This one's from Urban Outfitters and it retails for just under $500. I love that you could use this space saving high top breakfast bar as a dining table or as an island in the middle of your kitchen. Bonus points for the two comfort molded stools that slide to hang on the brackets underneath. If you're short on space, this is the perfect solution for your apartment or studio. There is no way I'm gonna round up dining tables without including something from Ikea. I'm sure I'm butchering the name, but this Nordviken Bergman table also comes with six chairs. You know how I feel about dining sets. I absolutely hate them. I typically don't specify dining sets because it's all matchy matchy furniture. But the thing that I love best about this set is that the table has an extendable drop leaf on both sides. So you can comfortably seat six people or eight people. I also love that the dining chairs have the same wood base, but they don't have the same finish on the seat and the back. You can change the style of this chair anytime by replacing the chair cover with one in a different color or model. That's the beauty of Ikea. They really do think of everything. This next table is the Sorrento dining table in aged drift oak from France and Son. This stunning table is made entirely from solid oak and it features beautifully arched legs and mitered edging for a light organic look. Since it's made from solid oak, you can bet that this table is sturdy enough for you to pass down to your family for generations to come. I love this Annalise dining table from McGee & Co. I'm still a sucker for natural stone finishes like the solid cream marble. It looks like a really stylish 1970s Italian design. It's bold, it's simple, it makes a statement in your home, and it's perfectly versatile no matter what your style or aesthetic. If you want to bring more light into your space, consider a glass top with really simple tapered legs. I can't even pronounce the name of this dining table, but it's from Wayfair and it's just under $270. It has a clear glass rectangular top with golden metal legs. You see it featured here in the middle of the kitchen and this is the perfect use for it. If you have a small eating kitchen, but you don't want it to feel too crowded, glass is the way to go. I found this awesome extendable dining table in a high gloss white laminated finish from Amazon. It's just under $500 and it's made in Italy. The dining table is extendable. It features two extra leaves. The minimum length is 55 inches so you can seat four to six people when it's not extended. And with the extra two leaves, you can actually seat up to 10 people on this table. This is such a steal for just under $500. And finally, we have this Axiom dining table from France and Son. This large dining table is made to entertain. It's crafted from poplar wood and it comes with two 20 inch leaves, allowing it to comfortably seat up to 12 people at its largest. It's contemporary, it's stylish, and I love how the white finish would look amazing against dark colored walls. I'd like to end this video with my designer tips on what to look out for when you're specifying a brand new dining table. Think about the quality of the materials, its ease of maintenance, think about your personal and family needs. Do you need a dining table that also doubles as a home workstation? If you do, then you definitely want to steer clear from glass, which is so fragile, it's vulnerable, and you can't bang it up like you would a natural stone or a solid piece of wood. Consider your budget. There's no need to break the bank if you're looking for something really solid and sturdy. I have found my last few dining tables actually from Craigslist. Craigslist was really hot back then, but nowadays you can scour Facebook market, flea markets, even offer up for really amazing deals. And finally, go with what you ultimately love and who cares what anybody else thinks. 
It's your home, it's your style, it's your taste, it only needs to make you happy. My previous dining table that I scored on Craigslist from this old house in Beverly Hills was so ugly that it became beautiful to me. I love to look for unique qualities that make it feel really special in my home. That dining table was on casters, it had a really cool rectangular, almost octagonal tabletop. It had this gold gilded etching. You could remove it to create four little tables. I mean, it was such a cool table. But now that I need something a little bit sturdier, of course, glass isn't going to cut it and I cannot wait to show you my brand new dining room makeover. That's it for today's dining table roundup. What did you think of today's list? I am not going to leave you high and dry. We are going to be back next week with a dining chairs roundup. So if you already have a dining table in space and you're looking for brand new chairs, make sure you tune in next week. Be sure to check out my other sourcing videos where I've talked about my favorite sectionals, my favorite coffee tables. These types of videos take weeks and weeks of research, but I really am committing this entire year to helping you source the perfect pieces of furniture for your home. If you like this type of content and you want more sourcing videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have a dining table in your home that you absolutely love. I would love for you to add it in the comments below so that you can share with our viewers. Of course, you'll be able to shop everything featured in this video. I'll leave the links in the description box, but if you still have a few key questions that you'd like for me to answer before you bite the bullet and invest in your brand new dining table, be sure to leave the question in the comments below. Share this video with anyone you know who's looking to upgrade their dining space and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.